team change, seemingly changed its decision one day after you said that Josh would play on Sunday? Well, let's go back and, and, and kind of relive, um, you know, the, the events. You know, I said that we were going to find, uh, get more information. Um, we were going to make a collective uh, decision, and uh, that's what we did. Um, you heard Howie's comments uh, yesterday, and I truly believe that's, uh, that's, the, that's the, the right way to handle this, you know, is to uh, dialogue, have communication, and uh, do the best thing for the Philadelphia Eagles. Did, did you know when you talked to us on Wednesday that, you know, releasing Josh was a possibility that you guys were considering? I, I think I mentioned that there were circumstances and there were the consequences of those circumstances. So um, that could might be, you know, that could might be leading into that. I mean, those are the things that you all have to uh, decipher. But at the time, no, you know, that, that decision was not made at that time. You talked about um, how, you know, your players are kind of like your children and, and putting an arm around guys. How, how do you reconcile that with then cutting a guy the, the next day? You know, that, and that's a, that's a tough thing. Um, you know, this business is all about, uh, obviously, performance and how, how you perform. And, and listen, I, I love every one of these players. I mean, don't get me wrong. And, and uh, I want to make sure that these players are doing right by themselves, by their families, by the Philadelphia Eagles. And, again, at the end of the day, I'm going to continue to, to, to love on Josh and, and, and help him every way I can. Um, but at the end of the day, there's a process that, that needs to be, be handled and needs to go through. And, and uh, again, um, doing the best thing for the team and the organization. Have you?